So in parasitology, we have computer protozoa. Now the next topic is helminths. Helminths, again, helminths are basically worms, okay, worms. So see, in protozoology, if we were uh, talking most about trophozoites and the cyst, if you remember. But here in our helminths, in worms, we are going to talk about adult worm and then larva and then uh, eggs. Okay, these are the things you will see in the helminths. So helminths, again, let's start now. The worm, Otherwise, I told you it is also called as worms. The two, platyhelminths and nematode. Nematelminths, you can say, or uh, nematodes. And platyhelminths are otherwise called flat worm. And again, under the platyhelminths, we have cestodes and trematodes. Okay, cestode and trematodes. And nematodes are otherwise called round worm. So nematode will be a separate class. So we will complete only the cestodes and trematodes. It's a little bit confusing and tricky, but definitely it is easy. It's easy. Only just concentrate, uh, you know, just I'll give you the clues and ideas how to remember. Okay, so now let's start. Let's start with the platyhelminths. So two types we told, cestode and the trematode. Cestode is otherwise called tapeworm. Tapeworm, okay, you remember, cest is tapeworm. And trematode is fluke. So it's called, you might confuse, you will have confusion the fluke is, Trematode or cestode or nematode like that. So please don't forget. See, for nematode, I'll give first of all, I'll give you a clue for a nematode first. Nematode, how I remember nematode, we have a South Indian actress, Namita. Namita, okay? And she's round. Everything, her face is round, her body is round, everything is round, round, round. So I remember like that. Namita, nematode is round warp. Okay, you got it? So this is my way of remembering. You remember how you want. Okay, but that's important. You have to know, you shouldn't confuse which worm is under which uh, classification it comes. Okay. So now trematode, how I remember is T for tree. 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 Only from tree you made what? Flutes. Flutes, remember, right? The Lord Krishna's, the playing flute. The flute comes from tree. So flute, fluke. Okay. Flute becomes a fluke and trematode becomes tree for me. Okay. So this is the way I remember. And then cestode is a tree form. You'll remember like that. Okay. This is a basic classification. You have to know this basic. Then only you can go to individual. It'll be easier. Okay. So now cestodes, otherwise I call tape form. So everything, a tape form is, uh, it, it, you see, it looks like a, a tape only. That's what it's called tape form. You know, the, the if you remember, it looks like this, like a tape, tape, like this only it looks. That's what we call tape form. Flukes are a little bit different. They look a little bit different. Okay. Now let's start. So in tape form, if you see the, the popular one is these uh, five only are very popular. Tinea solium, tinea, tinea solium, tinea saginata, diplobotrium latum. Uh, if you remember tinea solium, we'll individual, tinea solium, you know, you call this a pork tape form. Tinea saginata is a uh, beef tape form. But diplobotrium latum, uh, diplobotrium is also called as fish tape form. This is a fish tape form. Okay, fish tape form. We will talk individually. I'm just saying in advance, okay. Tinea solium again, okay, if you want, I'll write it here. It's a pig tape form. And tinea saginata is beef. Beef tape worm, okay. Pig tape worm, beef tape worm. Echinococcus is, you know, echinococcus is a dog, dog tape worm. Yeah, I remember, right? Dog tape worm. And H nana, nana means it's a, it is small. Small nana is chota, na? so it is called dwarf. Dwarf tape worm. Okay, dwarf tape worm. We call this dwarf tape worm. And trematodes, uh, again, when you come for trematodes, we have these are the trematodes. Cystosoma, uh, clo clo uh, clonoricus. Clonoricus is otherwise called liver fluke. Okay, liver fluke, paragonimus is called lung. Paragonimus is lung, lung fluke, and paracelopsibuski and hepatica. So let's start with the trematode only. Okay, trematode is a bit uh, not confusing and all, it's easy. Just, you know, uh, it's, it's like uh, it's better to start with trematode, a bit difficult one. Then other things we can do it easily. So trematodes are already true. Kya hai? Flute. Flukes. You can call it as fluke, uh, fluke worm, or uh, flukes or trematodes. Okay, that's it. So I already told you, I said that you have tree, what will you do with the tree? What will you do with the tree? That's it. So trematode, trematode, tree, fluke. And the name is the same. See, trematode, tree. Tree means three. Three. So usually what happens, uh, trematodes mean you need three hosts. Three hosts. Okay, that's just a question. So you have need three. I said that you have trematode, three. Three, I say, three hosts. Usually two hosts. One definite and one intermediate. But here in helminths, it'll be a little bit different, different. So in trematodes, three hosts are needed. So usually what happened? Miss two intermediate hosts and one definite host. Definite host is always man only. Okay, definite host is always man. Most of the cases, except HMT, I gave you a clue. Uh, I will again discuss you later. H except HMT, all are man is a definite host. So now what are the two intermediate hosts? The first intermediate host is always the uh, snail. Okay, snail. In a trematode snail, and the second one, the second intermediate host will vary. The second intermediate host is usually aquatic plants for fasciola. It's aquatic plants of fasciola hepatica and buski. It's the aquatic plants. But for paragonimus and clonoricus, both are important. Paragonimus and clonoricus, your cray or crabfish. 
at least for clonal request, it's easy. CC. So if you remember, cray or crabfish becomes the second intermediate host. Please remember that. Okay. Only for paragonimus and for clonoricus, your second host is cray or crabfish. Otherwise, it's usually aquatic plants. So you can have question from there. Crabfish. Okay. Then definite host is always man. Man is a definite host here. So infective stage. Infective stage is usually metasarcaria. Okay. This is the larva metasarcaria. Uh, ingestion of the metasarcaria is the reason for usually for trematode metasarcaria that's itself a question that itself is a question metasarcaria is the ingestion through fico oral route it goes inside there is an exception who is that exception cystosoma cystosoma has a lot of exceptions so please careful you have a lot of questions from cystosoma that's what i want to stress here so in cystosoma what happened usually skin penetration a b easy oh yeah yes for cystosoma s for skin penetration through the skin penetration only what happened this cercaria larva this cercaria larva Cercaria larva, it enters in this also question. Cercaria, cerca, yes, see, all look similar. Okay. Skin penetration, uh, when the patient gets into water, through the skin, the cercaria penetrates and goes inside. The contaminated water it goes inside the body. Okay, through skin goes into the patient's body. Then the symptoms occur. So we have cystosoma, three important species, at least you know. Uh cystosoma, hematobium, uh, mansoni, and japonicum. So now let's start with this hematobium, the most first important one. So, cystoma hematobium, otherwise called the name, it's, it's very bloody. Hematobium, the na name, name mein hai. Hematobium is itself, it's very bloody. Blood fluke, it's a blood fluke. Okay, it causes what? Cystosomiasis. Cystosomiasis. Otherwise, the other name is called bil, bil, ha, ziasis. Bil, har, ziasis. Bil, har, ziasis. B, I, L. H-A-R-Z-I-S, Bill Harziasis, okay. Bill ka cystosoma hai, Bill ka cystosoma hai, Bill as cystosoma, that's important question, it's a question. Bill Harziasis is caused by cystosoma, any cystosoma, but then uh, here particularly we talk about cystosoma hematopico. So there is one thing very common, whenever the, the, the larva, when it's painted in skin, you have a rash that is called swimmer's itch. Usually it's common in swimmers only, na, contaminated water, so swimmer's itch. Please remember, this question was asked repeated many times. I know now you're going to ask, sir, swimmers, both sir, swimmers are right, what are the swimmers? I made it for you, easy. So swimmers, you have swimming pool granuloma, you have swimming pool granuloma, which is seen in what? Mycobacterium marinum. Mycobacterium marinum. Marinum. And what about the swimmers? This is not here, this is here, okay, E-A-R, here. Swimmers here, you know, our favorite. Who who goes to Shanghai and goes to swimming pool are Ekta Kapoor. I mean pseudomonas, pseudomonas, yeah. Shanghai fever. And then she jump into the river and she get what swimmers here or um, uh, she get a, uh, autitis externa, malignant autitis externa. Okay, so pseudomonas. Pseudomonas is swimming, swimmers here. A swimming pool conjunctivitis, you know, I don't know, a den full of children, I don't know virus. They jump into, uh, they, they in the swimming pool, right? You remember, I didn't know where is, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go, somebody takes them in the space vehicle when they were coughing, sneezing, running nose, and then they go into swimming pool and swimming pool, they get what? Swimming pool conjunctivitis. Okay, I didn't know where is, children. Okay, so this is the, but swimmers, it is important. Swimmers, it is, so it's, it's important. See, every yes, 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 whatever yes, yes is coming, it's just some yes, yes. Okay, the blood fluke of bilas, yes, yes. So, uh, due to the eggs directly, also you can have egg granuloma and hematuria is possible. But one question frequently asked is cancer. Which cancer does your cystosoma causes? You know that. What cancer? Which cancer? Urinary bladder cancer. Urinary bladder. Urinary bladder carcinoma. Urinary bladder carcinoma. Urinary bladder carcinoma. Don't forget. Okay. That is caused by your cystosoma hematobium. Hematobium. Here it's hematobium only. Okay. And which type it is again? Yes for squamous. Yes for squamous cell carcinoma. It's more common than your transition. That's a surgery question. But please remember, cystosoma causes yes for yes only. So it causes squamous cell carcinoma only. Okay. That's also a question. So that's all. This is your cystomia. Hematobium is very easy. Don't forget hematobium. Blood flow. So all this one, swimmer stage is important and urinary bladder carcinoma is important. At least this you have to remember. Okay. Swimmer stage and carcinoma, bladder carcinoma. Now, cystosoma japonicum. Japonicum is basically, uh, it's a hepatic or oriented cystosoma. So other one, the name itself is japonicum. Say, aga, ki naam kya hai? Katayama, katayama, katayama fever. Like scrub typhus is caused by shuchumugushi, right? That's also related to sort of Japan thing only. So here it's katayama fever. Katayama fever is caused by japonicum. Japan means katayama. All these names come to it's a typical Japanese name. Now, so this is mansoni. Mansoni is, uh, this is, you see, remember only mansi is the only one in cystosoma, only mansi has dysentery. Dysentery, okay. So which of the cystosoma causes dysentery means mansoni. So it causes dysentery. Dysentery, remember, okay, dysentery. Okay, in parasite, cystosoma mansoni causes dysentery. 
Okay. Oh, ideally, the dysentery, if you talk, it's amoebic dysentery, entomoba histolytica from protozoa. But also, there's one cystosoma which causes this, this is a cystosoma, cystosoma mansoni. Okay, this can be asked. Also, it can cause katayama fever, not necessarily always Japanese fever, even mansoni also causes. Okay. Now, diagnosis, how to do? Remember, there's one particular important thing in this, uh, 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 yeah, the eggs, how you will identify in the cystosoma. Usually, how to remember? Sare sisters, eh, na? Yes, yeah, the the churches, uh, sisters from the churches or sisters from the hospital, they are completely covered, not open, not open. That means they are not operculated. Cystosoma eggs are not open. Usually, trematode eggs are operculated. It open hota hai, uskupar lid hota hai. But only sisters are completely closed, so there is no opening. Instead, what they have? They have a spine or knob-like structure. Spine or knob-like structure. Okay, remember that. Okay, so that's important. So, and then what? So, you will check for what a non-operculated egg, either in stool for Japanicum and Mansoni, and if it is hematobium for such hematobium, it's the urine because it's affecting the bladder. That's what you call a bladder carcinoma. So, in the urine. So, if it's in the urine, the word urine, this is some myself from urine, that should give you hematobium. Hematobium means urinary bladder. Usko just say, you say, you check the urine. Stool, Japanicum and Mansoni because this injury related katayama fever. So, it's in the uh, stool. You got it right? So, sisters are not open, non-operculated, okay, non-operculated egg, remember, with the spines and knob. So, see this picture. You can have this picture. Very simple, very, very, very simple. You don't have to confuse too much. So, see here. Mansoni, Mansoni, Mansi ka kya hai? Mansi ka side baal hai. Mansi, Mansi ka side mein, she's this pretty girl, Mansi. Okay, she's this pretty girl, Mansi. Mansi ka kya hai? Uska baal mein side mein hai. Uh, I should write like this, right? Side. Okay, uska side mein a lateral ponytail. Remember, whatever. How you remember? I want to say that there's a lateral spine. Mansi ka lateral spine. Hai. Okay, like this. Lateral spine. Mansi has a lateral spine. And this is tip. Uh, or equal terminal. Terminal kiska hematobium. Terminal. Terminal spine. Terminal spine. Ogo ta hematobium. See, this lateral spine is for your Mansoni. Mansi ka lateral. Has. She has a lateral ponytail or whatever. How are you remember? Okay, she has a lateral ponytail. I say, don't know. Uh, you, you make like this. Okay, it's just better. Like this. Uh, okay. This is beautiful girl, Mansi ka. She has what? She has a lateral. Like this. One, but when one only, okay. One, one. Okay, lateral. She has a lateral spine. But terminal uh, for hematobium, there's a terminal spine. Okay. And Japonicum, Japanese have small nose. Remember, like Japanese have small nose. So small knob. Hota. This is the one. This is the one. Okay. This knob, you see here, there's a small knob here. Small knob. That is the uh, that is for a Japanicum. Small nose, small knob. Remember, like that. Small knob. But Japan people have small nose, small knob. Uh, okay, and the mansika kya hai side ponytail hai. So she has lateral spine. And for hematobium, it's a terminal spine. Terminal, urinary bladder, terminal. So wo bhi terminal. Karlo. But what about this picture? This picture, all other trematodes. Oh, sare other clonoricos or paragonimus sub. Unka, what they have? They have a, this one. Open, operculated. Open, operculated. Okay, ye bolte operculated. Dekho, ek lid hai. And the egg is open. This is open. This is the open. Okay, this is the complete egg. The way lid, the lid, and this is open. That's what's operculated. But these three are non-operculated. Non-operculated. Sistersoma, sisters are not open. They are not open. Okay, non-operculated for sistersoma. Right? So this is the sistersoma and this is the other trematodes. Now, next is clonoricosinensis. Clonoricosinensis, again, important for this one reason. Uh, without going to the detail, you can tell me now. What is that cancer it causes? Frequently asked question. C for C, C for cholangiocarcinoma. 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 That's basically a bile duct carcinoma. Okay, so that's important question frequently asked. That's what we call this liver fluke, Chinese liver fluke. Yeah, usually by eating fish. Fish. Okay, usually it comes by eating the fish only. So uh, acquired by eating the fish containing the metasarcaria. Cholangiocarcinoma. And that causes cholangiocarcinoma. Okay. Next. Fasciola hepatica. Fasciola hepatica is basically sheep. Sheep liver fluke. This usually comes by eating, we already told you, aquatic plants. Aquatic, both fasciola hepatica and fasciolopsis buski. Okay. They come. But in buski, it's otherwise called giant intestinal fluke. This question is asked. Giant. The bus is our bus. The bus is giant bus. Remember, I said, bada bus. Giant bus. Giant bus. So, usko waise kya hota hai? You have B12 deficiency. Jada malabsorption hota. B12 malabsorption jada hota. Okay. Buski B12. Same way. Okay. You remember one more species also. Deflobotrim lautum also called bada nama. So, it causes megaloblastic anemia. Megalo. Bada megalo. Deflobotrim lautum megaloblastic anemia. And the other one is your buski. Buski bus. Bus me bada hai. So, B12. You will have B12 malabsorption. 
रिमेम्बर दोनों बी ट्वेल्व रिलेटेड है एक तो डिफ्लोबोथ्रीम बड़ा है बी ट्वेल्व बड़ा देन उसकी बस से बड़ा है That also causes B12. So don't forget two B12 ka repeated question. This is a very very important question. They'll ask mostly in every way, in our theory, viva, objective, every way. This examiner's favorite question. So don't forget, ah, Buski and Diplobotrim latum. Diplobotrim latum will come later. Will come in the next topic. Okay. Now paragonismus vester money. Paragonismus vester money. I told you lung, 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 lung. Money ka lung problem hai. Money hai na? ये मनी मनी का लंग प्रॉब्लम ऐसे याद कर लो पैरागोनिमस वेस्टर मनी मनी का लंग का इश्यू है सो ये क्या होता है दिस यूजुअली अकोर्ड बाय द सेम थिंग पैरागोनिमस वेस्टर मनी आल्सो व्हाट हैपन बाय इंजेक्शन ऑफ द मेटा सरकारिया बाय इंजेक्शन ऑफ द मेटा सरकारिया एनी फूड एनी सी फूड एनी सी फूड इवन क्रैब इवन द क्रैब वी डोंट नो क्रैब और सी फूड और एनीथिंग ओके सी फूड व्हाट हैपन Fish or whatever, it goes into the crab capsule. You get the meta sarcaria. They get the, the meta sarcaria enters inside the body, and then what happened? Of course, the name is lung. Lung is so what happened? Lung may go affect the lung. So if it affects the lung, you get the hemoptysis. Where the brown hemoptysis. Okay, that's it. This paragon means lung. Lung affect the hemoptysis, and uh, you have a red or brown color hemoptysis. That's it. This you have to remember. Okay. Now all trematodes have I told you operculated, operculated egg. With lid, with lid होता है, just like this, see, like this, operated egg with the lid. यहाँ पर देखो, it's opened and also it is lid is there, and they don't have any spine. Exception is your sister's oma. Again, I'm repeating it because it's many times, but only for sisters or covered completely. Sisters के पास open नहीं है. They're very reserved people, so it's non open, so it's non operated egg. Instead, they have spine. They have a spine. It could be side spine in Mansoni, or it could be terminal spine in Hematobium, or it could be just the knob. Chota nose is Japonicum ka. So any of these things can come. Okay. So please remember that's the exception. So just you have to remember. Okay. Now next topic. So we have finished over the uh, flux. Ho gaya. Flux is done. The trematode is done. Now we are going to the cestode or the tapeworm. Tapeworm also important. Tapeworm usually most of us must have seen it. Okay. Directly also we would have uh, seen many. So uh, cestodes ka usually we require two hosts. Two hosts only needed. Trematode three. Three trematode three. Three ho gaya. But uh, cestode ka is as usual. Only to most of them, oh, generally parasitic only two hosts. Uh, one definite and one intermediate. There are exceptions. Okay. But what are the exceptions? Cestode, there is exception. H nana, hymenolipsis nana. Usme clue hai. Hymenolipsis, men na gaya. So only one host. Only one host. Wo kone men? H nana ka only men. Both definite intermediate sub men ni hota hai. Only one host. Okay, men. But diplobotrim blatum ka three host. Bada na me. I was saying diplobotrim is bada. B12 not only B12 deficiency it has. It also has what you are. Uh, three hosts. Three hosts mean there are two intermediate hosts and one definite host. Two intermediate hosts and one definite host. So now what are those hosts we are going to see? Three hosts you are saying. So humans are definitely the uh, humans are the definite host for intestinal uh, cestode, except except what again repeating H nana. Your H nana for H nana human is the intermediate. Uh, oh sorry, this is we are talking about the uh, exceptional case. Usually humans are definite host for all intestinal cestodes except one. What is that? You remember HMT watch? I told you in HMT watch, man is intermediate host. Man is uh, intermediate host. Intermediate host. So H for hydatid cyst. So this is hydatid cyst. Hydatid cyst. Hydatid cyst ka dusra naam kya hai? Echinococcosis. Echinococcosis. Echino. So we are going to talk about it. Isme kya? Which is a definite host? Dog is a definite host. And M for malaria, T for toxoplasma. Okay, these are the conditions where man is intermediate host. Otherwise, man is always definite host. That's what I want to stress. Okay, that's what I've written this point here. This is a question. So human is intermediate host in this condition. In the echinococcus. That is hydatid cyst. HMT, HMT watch. HM, H for hydatid cyst. Not H for not H nana. Please remember that. H is not H nana. Here, H for hydratid cyst, otherwise echinococcosis. Okay, that's it. So they exist in the adult tape form or egg form. Again, same adult tape form. So how the adult, uh, how how does the adult form looks like? See, this is the adult form. How it looks like? You must have seen in the stool sample. See this picture. How it looks? These like this. Okay, like this. This is like a tape only. It just looks like a tape, 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 tape. Okay. So this is a here. This the first part is the what? This is the head, head or scolex. Head or scolex we call, and this is the neck part, and then these are the proglottids, proglottids, proglottids or strobili we call proglottids. So this is the gravid one, and these are the mature ones. Okay, you can see in the stool it's now bada, na you can naked eye, you can see with your naked eye. Okay, so some of the hooklets 
Now, so, uh, so because see, usually there's a head, neck, and segments or proglottids. But some of them in the head, they have a hooklet. Uh, who are the hooklet, the risky one, the dangerous one. You know, it just sucks. So hooklet. So that's what they are also called what? armed tapeworms. Whoever is having hooklet, they are called armed. Example, your solium, tinea solium, compared to sagenata because they have the hooklets, but not in sagenata doesn't have. Okay, so that's what. So one is your solium, other one is your echinococcus, and HNN, a few examples which have the hooklets to, uh, you know, it, uh, take all the uh, nutrients, blood, everything from the host. Okay, now eggs. Eggs, all stored eggs, how did they, they usually every uh, every egg, they almost similar. The, the eggs are like usually have a egg shell. This is the egg. They always have an egg shell. Okay, egg shell is there. And they're usually non-operculated. Remember, A opposite, they go trematode me. Most of them are operculated. But here, everything is non-operculated. Then who is operculated? Only one guy. That is your diplobotrium. Diplobotrium. Botrium. I'll tell you that. How to remember? I'll tell you also. Botrium. Bot. Bottle is open. Bottle is open. Bottle. Pine ke liye kya karna hai? Open karna hai. So bottle is open. So it's operculated. Remember like that. Bottle. Diplo. Botrium. Bottle. Open karna hai. So it's operculated. You got it? Okay. That's easy. Yes. Now next one is larva. So larva. There are different uh, types in uh, in cestode. The larva is called by different names. Okay, so I mean uh, for uh, mostly same, but in few places. Okay, I'll tell you. Cysticercosis is usually for tinea. For tinea, t t a t a e n i a tinea. Okay, for tinea, for t. Ah, tinea for tinea species for all the tinea, it is cysticercus larva. Cysticercus. But in Hechinana, it is cysticercoid, cysticercoid, okay? See, this cysticercus, again, it is called bovis in Sagenata because cow, cow with a bovis hoga. And then cellulose is a pig. So it is in solium, we call cellulose, okay? Cellulose, remember that also. Cellulose is a pig and bovis is a thing, okay? So tinea, cysticercus. Otherwise, it's called cysticercoid in Hechinana and hydrated cystis in the, which one? Your echinococcus. Echinococcus. In echinococcus, in echinococcus, you call the larva, as a hydrated cyst. Okay, got it? That's it. So, now let's go to tinea. Uh, start the individual topic. Tinea saginata. Tinea saginata, otherwise what it's called, it's called a beef. We already spoke about it, beef tape form. It's usually longer. Longer than solium se bada long. Saginata bada hai. So, the segment is longer. So, it's like, the, but other important difference is that, see if you see this picture, if you see this picture here, uh, see, there is a tinea sol. This is a tinea so This is the tinea Solium. Solium has what? Hooklets. Hooklets hai either. Hooklets. Solium hai. But Sagina, this is Saginata. Tinea, Saginata. In Saginata, there is no hooklets. That's one difference. Okay. And the Saginata is longer, but uh, the solium is shorter. Short. Pig hai na? Pig to chota hai. Saginata bada hai. So beef hota hai. Cow hota hai. Okay. So intermediate host is what here? Cattle. Cattle. That's what the naam bhi bada hai. Remember like that. Saginata bada hai. So bada cow hai. So, solium chota naam hai, so pork hai. So, pig is chota na, compared to cow, it's chota. So, it's a small one. Okay. But dangerous. Solium is dangerous. Definite host is man. And usually, ingestion of what? Uh, the uh, cysticercus. The larva ingestion of the cysti, cysticercus. Okay. Cysticercus. Cysticercus. Okay. Cysticercus. See, not the egg. Not the egg ingestion. It's a cysticercus. Usually, the ingestion of the cysticercus of uncooked beef. Uncooked beef means cystic circus hota hai. So that one what happened? It will cause the problem. Now we're going to talk about that. So what are those uh, diseases which is going to cause this uh, anything? Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm sorry. Uh, one second. Just give me a second. Yeah. Okay. Clinically, usually saginata is usually asymptomatic. It doesn't cause much symptoms. Okay. It doesn't cause much symptoms. Only thing is that you'll have abdominal discomfort and diarrhea. So that's what saginata is not that dangerous. Okay. So usually what happens in stool, mein, patient will say kuch white color essay patches like a, like a tape just a dek raha hai, they will come like that. Or you do a, a microscopy wet mount and see stool wet mount, you check, you might see egg in the fecus, hexacanth embryo we call. Okay, that's it. Now that is for the saginata. Now solium. Solium, as we told, the most dangerous one. Uh, it's uh, otherwise called pork tape form. You know that already. It's the pork tape form. Chota naam hai, so pork hota hai. Intermediate host is again, it's the pig, and definite host is the man. Transmission again, injection of the uh, pork kind of, again, cysti circus, cysti circus, cellulose, you call cysti circus, cellulose, normal. But, yet normal, the diarrhea, usually ends in diarrhea, abdominal discomfort, usual. 
that the worst is what auto infection auto infection or we can say it is the ingestion of what the eggs eggs hota hai na instead of cystic circus suppose eggs water or food mein water mein uska eggs accidentally if we consume it's rare but it happens it's consumed not that rare actually these days we are having lot of cystic circosis then what happen when the egg goes inside it will end in what cystic circus neuro cystic circosis this is the one i want to stress neuro cystic circosis is caused by tinea solium that's what pork is very very dangerous instead of if you have cystic circus normal kate to intestine mein chale jayega but if you taking the egg then the cycle differs the cycle differs and usually ends what neuro cystic circosis which is the more very common cause of seizures in india okay adults children whatever it is so one of the most common cause of seizures in india is neuro cystic circosis and you will have a question aise picture de dega see this picture this all this calcified lesions you can see this all calcified lesions right All here, here mildly you can see CT uh, in everything in MRI, whatever everywhere. This is CT scan, so you can see all these small, small that things are there. No, so those are what those are the cysts, neurocystic circosis cyst. So become dangerous. So that's important. So neurocystic circosis tinea solium, one one of the common procedure. Usually history will come like this. Not only there, you can have it the skin, muscle anywhere, but usually neurocystic brain if they have seizure, they usually do and they will rule out the neurocystic circosis. Okay, and this is the typical egg looks like. Eggs are almost same here. They usually have a egg with you know. Cooklets, three pairs of cooklets. This egg cell contains embryo. Okay, the egg shell, egg embryo, etc. So the the this is typical cooklets, pair of cooklets, and polar filament. All those things will be there. So this is the eggs of the tinea. It looks like this. Okay, right. Now, uh, Diplobotrum latum. Diplobotrum latum. Again, I'm repeating many times. Again, I want to repeat it because here Diplobotrum is only just two hosts. Right? We host it all. So the first one, the uh, uh, to the uh, yeah, the intermediate host in intermediate host. Yeah, what are the intermediate hosts we have? Diplobotrium. We have first host is cyclops. Second one is fish. Fish. ये कैसे याद करना है? Phil है ना? Phil, Mr. Phil. उसका cycle में he carries what fish? Phil in cycle he carries fish and a open bottle. Open bottle. of water you got it open bottle of water may open ke bata this is the only open plated egg right is the only open plated egg that's what i'm stressing okay so definitely this man so usually by drinking the pond water so i told diplobotrum bada name so what will have they'll have megaloblastic anemia megaloblastic the megaloblastic anemia these things of fingertips okay ek buski we have fasciolopsis buski udar in the gum Trematodes, cestodes, me, diplobotrium. These two are definitely you must know. Okay, this is one of the largest, biggest uh, uh, worms. One of the biggest worms. So megaloblastic anemia due to vitamin B12 deficiency. B12 deficiency. It takes cause malabsorption, sort of malabsorption. So you will see what egg proglottis or egg you will see. Okay, got it? Yes. Then now echinococcus. Echinococcus, otherwise we call as what? We call as a what? Oh, it's also called dog tape worm. The echinococcus is or hydatidsis. You remember intermediate host is men. into exception right hmt me aayega hmt me other i told again i'm repeating hydatid cyst malaria and toxoplasma these are main becomes intermediate host okay now next is your uh, so man so intermediate definite host is what your dog dog is definite host so whenever they have history of a dog and then liver very common in hydatid cyst is just not that rare it's very very common so you see this picture see this picture these are what these are acquired by ingestion of the eggs and then what happened you can see the hydatid cyst formed here so that is hydatid cyst hydatid cyst in the liver and lungs it's very very common so this picture can expect and you can get so this is if you see here you see all these things in uh, uh, you know ct you can see all this cyst there okay those things are the uh, cyst hydatid cyst so question question what is the test that is the important question microbiology they'll ask you which is the you know, test you're going to do for the skin test allergy test what is that called kasoni yes kasoni 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 is allergy test and it's because it's allergy because hydatid fluid and the allergic hota hai na so that was if any allergic thing will come in with hypersensitivity reaction number 1 number type 1 Type one hypersensitivity reaction, not your lepromin and tuberculin. Lepromin tuberculin, how about it? It will come in the type four. They repeat that question many times. Okay, that will type four. So here, Cassini test will come. Okay, that's your to remember. Okay, right now, now comes the H nana. Uh, we are almost coming to the end now. So in H nana, uh, in H nana, what happens is that one second, yeah. Uh, in H nana, both, uh, both uh, I told you already repeated. H nana is a dwarf form. Okay, it's a dwarf. H means a dwarf, dwarf. It's also called dwarf. Chota hai. That's what we call dwarf. uh dwarf tape form okay dwarf tape form and both 
केसेस मैन इज दी बोथ डेफिनेट एंड इंटरमीडिएट होस्ट बिकॉज इसमें मैन है ओनली मैन आता है ओके एंड इंजेक्शन ऑफ सिस्टी सर्कॉइड इन टीनिया इट वॉज सिस्टी circus here it is cystic sarcoid larva and in gut it goes becomes adult worm and then releases the egg so egg usually passes through that but some of the time what happen the egg again goes back into the circulation causing what auto infection auto infection auto infection means the in reinfection you know infection instead of the stool goes the egg goes back and causes the infection so now you should know few exceptions of this thing you have to know few exceptions of the few auto infection causing Infections, you must know. Very, very important question. Okay, what are they? Do you remember shortcut? Auto infection है तो आपको shortcut क्या है? Chest. Auto आपको chest में hit कर दिया. Auto ने आपको chest में hit कर दिया. Okay. So C for cryptosporidium. Cryptosporidium. You remember right? The most common cause of HIV diarrhea. HIV patient diarrhea is cryptosporidium. Acid fast. Acid fast parasite. It's a different protozoa. H for Our H nana, Hymenolepis nana. E for Enterobius vermicularis. Enterobius vermicularis. We are going to talk in the round worm. E B. Strongyloides also. It's going to come. We're going to see the strongyloides. And T for your Tinea solium. I know. Pata tha na. So Tinea is neurocystis vermicosis. One of the auto infection, right? So Tinea solium. So this question will be asked. Please remember. It's important. Auto infection is seen is very very important question. Okay. And H nana will be a non-bile stained egg with central hooklet and polar filament. Again, all the eggs are mostly bile stained except will be what shortcut is neha. Neha is non-bile stained egg. So, is me kya kya aega? N for nectar. Uh, we want to study in again. We'll come there. And E E for enterobius and H for H nana. A for ancestral. And cyclostoma duodenale. Okay, so that is there. So H nana comes in. We're going to study detail uh, for um, uh, Neha complete this thing in this thing. So, but now you remember this one. Okay, that's it. So this is your this is your uh, non. Uh, this is your H nana. H nana. So we have done with the uh, uh, the, uh, the the one part of the helminth is over now. Okay, that means we finished trematode and cystodes. Okay, only uh, remaining is your roundworm uh, that we're going to talk in the next class. Okay, so it's very easy, guys. Whatever I told, these are the important points. Uh, the individual cyclical, I'm not stressing too much, but that's okay. That uh, you know, uh, not that much asked or it's easy. Main thing are these things: the diagnostic part, how to differentiate the individual eggs, and how you uh, you know uh, identify. What are the futures, clinical futures? That is most, most important. Okay. So thank you so much. Catch you guys in another class soon.